Austin, the first teamer in the conference, started every single game except for two in his career in three years with Kaiser. Twelve minutes gone, and the Seahawks with an offside. Over to Simovic, a beautiful move right in front of the box. His shot gets stuffed. But if they can have more than a day to rest, they can be even more dangerous. So here, I mean, we're, we're probably going to see more of Simovic, but we might not. Coach Jamie Peterson might feel that his 2-0 lead is good enough to start sit some of his superstars. Because with the talent level of Oklahoma Wesleyan, their backups might be just as good as Kaiser's starters. Bellows' curving corner kick is deep, headed in and kicked away by Kaiser. Settling down is Machado, and Machado's shot goes high. And... <laughs> Oklahoma Wesleyan's assistant coaches, Stephen Duchik, Cedric Muteshi, Jack McGowan, are nine minutes to go. They've been able to run these set pieces well as they run a circle. And the shot pass comes into Milosevic, and it's headed away by the goalie, Dusan Dejordev. That was the first half, basically, as we saw very little to none action besides those three shots. And now the Eagles right back, going right to left. And Eagles, the Eagles making their seventh straight trip to the NAIA men's soccer tournament. That's where we are now at Seacrest Soccer Complex in Delray Beach, Florida. Kaiser, the Seahawks. So a big shakeup from one year to the next as Oklahoma Wesleyan finds themselves as the top seeded team with only one loss this year and one tie. That tie was to the third seeded Missouri Valley team that has a jump on them. This is Isles on defense. Bello out to Cordero. Cordero loses it and wants the ball back. Does not get it back as it's Kaiser ball. What are they just toying with him here? The Eagles looking for an opportunity. Drawing some Seahawks forward so they can push and instead a mean Meski is gonna pick it off. Pass it up to Bargiglia. Now it's over to Bargiglia again. Pushed outside, Dawson. Dawson, the only shot on goal for the team. Flicks it to the right. Ordev down the right side. Hogged in by Pichi. Give and go on the right side. It was Machado. Now inside. Popped forward to the goalie and grabbed by Gomez. Flung down. With it in front of me is Eric Rubio. Over to Joe Rivera for Kaiser. 37 minutes to go. Dawson. Pocket picked by Johan. Hopeful draw. They're just they're just hoping for extra time if you're Kaiser. You want to get one goal and then another one. Under 33 minutes to go. Nice move by Simovic, but an even nicer sliding kick by Joe Rivera. Here's Rivera again. Goes through the legs of Rubio there, excuse me, Cordero, and now streaking down the right side, passing it to the middle, saved by Jordan. Pass gets shot and kicked away. Now it's Dawson. Dawson near side in the corner. Gets it to Isles. Isles back. Push to Dawson. We know he has a leg if he can get within 30 yards. Gets it to Menendez and a beautiful read there in the back line and a turnover by the Eagles. They're off and running with numbers. That's Bello. Bello to Peachy. Peachy gets it. Kicked by Menendez and it goes out of bounds. I believe all. Meski brings it in, reverses field to Rivera. He's got Dawson, instead decides to cut it back up. Fling it over to Dugan. 
Seems like everywhere they pass it, the Eagles are sitting. This time they get it to Dawson. Dawson wisely sits it down and reverses field to Rivera. Rivera's been out there almost the entirety of the game. Averaging about 88 minutes in this second half of the season, Rivera. Really upped his playing time. Throw in by Oklahoma Wesleyan. It's brought in by Milosevic. His second goal added some insurance in the ninth minute as he sends one in off the top crossbar and then somehow kept out of the net. Unbelievable effort there by a sliding Joe Rivera after a leaping attempt. Near side, lots of pressure as Oklahoma Wesleyan is sniffing for another one. Somehow Kaiser gets out of that one unscathed and Bar Gigia. This is saved by Rivera and now streaking is Mensky. Mensky maneuvering like a car in Monte Carlo. That was Bar Gigia. And now a counter attack is Machado. Machado's got a man in the middle, that's Lozano. Instead, he's going to slow it down, wait for some other attackers, and then drop it off to Alex Lozano. Sent in. Diving header by Sanchez goes wide to the right. And that took a toll on a couple players down there. As we hide. zone as again the Warriors applying pressure but a crisp pass keeps the ball on Kaiser's side of the field Seahawks doing a good job of keeping away good passing so far not allowing Weber to get possession Menendez for Kaiser the defender here's Joe Rivera with the ball his pass went on to Luca Barragigia Seahawks moving in shot score Joe Rivera's passes to Amin Meski. Meski in open space. Here he goes. Great pass down the middle of the field. Pass toward the box. Oh, pass the, is blocked. Weber takes it away. Rivera gains possession. Couple dribbles. Passes it along to Saeed. Off a Weber player. Rivera stole it. Then Weber clears. Running it down. And Weber now has a chance. Moving on in. Dawson comes all the way out of the net. Here's a shot to the net. Oh, a Kaiser player saved it from going into the net and cleared it. Clark now has to work his way back toward the net. Weber still applying pressure. Outside the box now. They pass it to the middle. Taken away by Kaiser and a steal. Oh, a good one for Tom Dawson. Dawson's pass to Joe Rivera. Dribbling down the right sideline to Amin Meski. Meski has the ball. His pass. will play this one to a defender for Kaiser as Weber again doing a good job applying pressure. The Seahawks have not allowed that to bother them. They've been able to get those passes off in time. This season, he's been spectacular. Joe Rivera now gives it on to Ami Meski. Nice give and go action to Rivera. These two have been playing very well here in the first half together. There looks the wind toward the ball. They won't. Robert Green got it for Weber. Green working against Joe Rivera. Look at the pressure applied by Rivera. Great work. Taken away. And Diego Menendez for the Seahawks. Weber will have a throw. Kept control of this ball here for quite a while now in the last few minutes. Down to the three-minute, ten-minute mark of the first half. Five-nothing Seahawks. Joe Rivera back to Gabriel Souza. And now play it forward to Stanton. Weber cleared it. Warriors have the ball. But Kaiser with a steal. And it's Joe Rivera to Tom Dawson to Jake Stanton. A couple dribbles by Stanton. And then plays it back. To Simone Saeed. 
Rivera in the middle of the field. Back behind the midline on their side of the field for Kaiser. It's Souza to Weber's side. Of the So Kaiser will have a throw in, leading a one nothing with 26 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Kaiser gets the ball back. Menendez has it with a touch. His pass is deflected and knocked away. Joe Rivera gets there in time. So here come the Nighthawks as they send the ball down the field. This ball is going to roll out of bounds. Diego Menendez has the ball. Gives it on to uh, Tom Dawson. Nice pass forward. Kaiser, Zamin Meski now moving the ball into the box. Meski, there he goes. Meski, shot, save. No rebound for Kaiser, no one there to try to put that back home. A big crisp pass to Tom Dawson, gives the ball to Meski. Meski works it to Joe Rivera. Rivera, one touch and a quick pass to Meski. Back to Dawson. Dawson quickly sends it forward, but it'll roll all the way out for Thomas, though. Gets the ball back across the middle. Cleared momentarily by Kaiser. Both of them waits for it, grabs it, takes it, passes it on. Yeah. We have uh, Quintana and Tomas Greco, who both of them just, just seems like the balls are in their feet at all times. Yeah, that's something. Tommy Meski. Meski. Kaiser. Greco, Greco. And you mentioned earlier, you thought the bot. Box. The Kaiser men's team playing here in the conference championship, but earlier, the women's championship was the Kaiser team going up against Southeastern. Kaiser had a streak of winning the conference championship, and now we're going to Thomas Player has been out because of injuries. Coming 
down a little harder now. 